Well, hey fans, welcome back to the second annual Jane Scary Special, and today we're going to be talking about The Pale Blue Eye. It is directed by Scott Cooper and stars Christian Bale and Harry Melling. And for those who don't know who Harry Melling is, he was Dudley in the Harry Potter franchise, and I have to say, he has turned out to be a fantastic actor. He's been in, like, tons of film, really stretching his acting muscles, and he does a great job in this film as well. Now, the basic plot of the film is that... Christian Bell plays a detective named Augustus Landor, and he is called to the West Point Military Academy to investigate a series of murders. And while there, he runs into a young Edgar Allan Poe, who is played by Melling, and together they solve these crimes. And first, I'd like to thank Netflix for sending me the screener for it. I, I did, I did enjoy it. I do feel that... It is a bit dull and a bit over long, but I did enjoy the mystery aspect of it. Uh, Augustus Landor is very similar to a Sherlock Holmes. He sees things that other people cannot and figures out parts of the crime that other people are having trouble with. He seems to always be one step ahead of everyone else. And there is a great twist involving why that is so, and I did enjoy finding out at the end, because what I thought was going to happen at the end of this movie was not exactly what everything was. And I don't want to spoil it or give anything away, uh, but that, that was a great aspect of the film. There are a lot of uh, cult killings and a lot of occult images in the film. And I like to say that the director, Scott Cooper, did a great job in filming these scenes. He used a lot of vertical angles in depicting these bodies to make it just seem a little more eerier. So as the viewer, you're wondering, is this really a supernatural film? Is something otherworldly going on? Or is this all set in like realism? So keeping the viewer on their toes for that aspect, I think was really great. And like I said, the acting is fine all around. And the thing about Edgar Allan Poe, he pairs very well with like horror for some reason. And we all know it's because of his poetry. You know, he did The Raven and all that. And like people have used him in movies and television for, for decades. I remember the movie starring uh, John Cusack, The Raven, uh, that was about murders and it had Edgar Allan Poe in it. I really did enjoy that. Edgar Allan Poe featured in, I think, a couple episodes of Supernatural, which was one of my favorite shows for the longest time. So I think that making more movies regarding, regarding Edgar Allan Poe would work well. Now, where the film does stall a lot is, I think, in a story. The story is, like I said, a little dull. It does just kind of take a little too long to get to the point and there's not enough like suspense so to speak you're just kind of following this guy solve this case I would have liked to have seen a little more horror a little more jump scares uh because they're kind of setting this up almost like a Guillermo del Toro slow burn but I don't think the director has the quality or attention to detail that Guillermo del Toro has uh, a good example was his film Nightmare Alley last year. It's kind of like that, but not quite to the level. And even Nightmare Alley, personally, I think, you know, is a lesser Guillermo del Toro film. But if you like horror, if you like thrill, if you like suspense, I definitely recommend that you check this film out. It is streaming on Netflix uh, today, and I think it is it's a fun watch it is a fun watch i think overall i'm gonna give it a solid six out of ten uh so yes again i thank you guys for joining me for the second annual james scary special remember you can find us on facebook instagram twitter and reddit and please pretty please make sure that you like share and subscribe and until next time i'll be seeing you